Welcome back to Models 101. Uh, in this segment I'm going to be talking about castings. So always remember to be yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. Just try to relax. You will go to so many castings. Um, sometimes you might go to 10 castings a day, sometimes you might go to one a week, um, but you cannot be right for every casting. Like you, you just cannot. There is no way, there is no way even any Victoria's Secret Angels are, are right for every casting. So um, everyone has to start somewhere. That's the thing, everyone has to start by going to all these castings so clients can see you, get to know you, um, and, and you can get a feel of what the industry is, is like. So castings are a really amazing thing. Um, not so often now people get sent out to go sees. So a go see is where there's not a job actually available. It's to go and see a client or a photographer or a production company so that then they can keep you in mind for upcoming jobs or for maybe, yeah, upcoming jobs. So generally when you go to a casting, you'll walk in, you'll say, hi, my name is Gemma, I'm with so-and-so agency. Um, shake their hands, smile, be nice, hand them your book. Uh, a lot of girls these days use iPads, but me and my agency still prefer to use an actual portfolio because the pictures look just much nicer. They might ask you some questions, don't be afraid to talk. Um, you know, you'll probably get a feel as a client if they want you to talk more or less or something. So just kind of see how it goes. Um, if you're really worried about it, practice with a friend. Like, practicing with a friend is actually scarier than what it's like in real life going to a casting. Um, and once you go to a few castings, you'll start to realize it's really, really easy. If I haven't been to a casting in ages, I get so scared. I'm like, oh, what do I do and what do I say? And oh, what if they make me try on something? And um, But then when I get there, I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. I can totally do this. Like, it's just a casting. Um, and just don't put any pressure on yourself because again, as I said, no one can be right for every job um, and you're never going to know what job you're right for. So when I was at uni and I was trying to study and be a model, um, I'd always go, oh, well, oh, no, I'll go to this lecture and oh, no, no, I'll go to this casting. And, and the castings that I never, ever went to, um, when I stopped uni and I was a full-time model, I'd always get those castings. And I was like, but I never went to these castings before. Like, I just didn't think I was suited to these castings. The thing is, you're never going to know. And sometimes maybe your agency doesn't know how a client's going to react. An agency might think, oh, they're going to love this girl. And they don't. Or they're not really going to like this girl. And then they do. So it's, um, it is a little bit of a um, gamble all the time. But just always go to your castings because you honestly never, ever know what one you're going to get and what a client is going to like you. Um, and this has probably been said before quite a few times, but a client often has in mind what they want for their model. So they'll have an, a picture in their head of, the, of exactly what they want. But sometimes then a client might have in their mind what they kind of see as their muse for their brand and then all of a sudden someone walks in and she doesn't fit the mold at all and they'll be like, oh wow, I love her. Like, you know, so uh, yeah, just it's so important to go to all your castings. Always be prepared. The night before, when when you get your details for tomorrow, which is generally what happens as a model, um, the agency will give you uh, the details of your day tomorrow and um, you'll have the list of the clients you're going to see. Um, have, always have a quick look through. Sometimes uh, they might have accidentally missed up a house number because, you know, they're really busy. Um, they might have not said who the client is. Um, I always find it best to Google the client. So if you don't know who the client's going to be, you can't really be prepared. Um, so generally, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're going to a casting for like um, an e-commerce website, um, you go onto their website and see how they like the models to move, how they like the models to look, um, just so then you can get a feel of being prepared if they get if they ask you to stand there and take photos and move around in front of them. Um, or if you're going to go to a casting for a bikini brand or an underwear brand, you want to be prepared. That is, you know, hair free, underarms, bikini line and uh, legs. Um, so yeah, always be prepared. Um, that would probably also mean nice underwear. In case you need to try something on, uh, again, flesh colored bra and thong or knickers is always best because the client wants to see what it's gonna look like. Always ask your agency if it's an underwear or swimwear brand, which they should tell you. Just always ask them just in case you need to take a bikini um, or an underwear set. I always keep a spare set in my bag now because I have been called out because sometimes the client doesn't tell the agency or it gets lost in translation getting back to you and you don't want to be embarrassed and unprepared. So two castings generally wear little to no makeup exactly as I said in the first 
um, Models 101 segment I said about getting an agency, um, just enhance your features. So very little foundation, if any. If you're a fresh face, new face model, you really probably don't need any. A little bit of mascara, uh, maybe a little bit of lip gloss. Um, if you're really feeling like a bit under the weather, just a bit of tinted moisturizer, maybe CC BB cream, something that just smooths your skin out. But really try and be as natural as possible with your hair as well. Um, the client just wants to see you. They they want to see what you're like. They can see your pictures a lot of the time before you go to the casting. So they just kind of want to see what you look like. Always be on time. Always. Um, if you're going to be late, just call the agency. Send them a quick email. Send them a quick text. Um, however you feel comfortable, but just make sure you tell them that you're going to be late. Um, agencies work really hard to get girls castings, um, and it can not only reflect badly on you, but also on the agency that's got you that um, job, and that you know the the casting director or um, the client or someone could just be sat there waiting for you, and they're going, well, this girl's not going to turn up. Okay, how do we know she's going to turn up on the job? So just always be on time, and just always call if you're not going to be. Um, if you're going to be late because we don't know things happen um, you might get stuck in traffic you might get stuck on the tube something might break down anything anything can happen and and the agency should be pretty understanding of that most of the time but always try to be on time and if you're going to be late then call so after you go to a casting sometimes even before you go to a casting a client might put on you put an option on you or a hold uh, this pretty much just means that the client's interested in using you, so they want to know that you're free for those dates. Sometimes you might have options already holding, and the client goes, oh, well, we, we'll, put, we'll have a second hold or a second option, so that if the other client pulls out and doesn't want to use her, oh, well, well we, we want to use her, um, so can you let us know if, if we can then have a first option? Um, sometimes clients don't know when they're going to shoot, they don't know when the product's going to come in, they don't know when the photographer and stylist and... Um, and hair and makeup artists are going to be available. Uh, they don't know what the weather's going to be like. So sometimes there's so many things riding on a shoot that, you know, they they will just put an option or a hold on you so that they know that they can possibly get you. And they might do it with one girl, two girls, five or ten girls, depending on how big the job is. Um, so an option doesn't always lead to a, a job, um, but it just means that you've definitely got client interest. So. Um, when I first started full-time modeling in one two-week period, I had about eight options and I was like down to the final two girls for all these jobs and in the end I was like, I can't take this anymore, I don't want to hear anymore and then finally all of a sudden I got this my big campaign and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing and at the point I was just like so fed up so but you know, I think I've always been taught that, you know, options are good things because they mean that clients are interested and that it, something will just fall into place. So after an option can be released or confirmed and if it gets confirmed then you get a job. Yay! Um, some clients do cancel confirmations. I've had that happen before or my friends have had that happen before. Sometimes the night before. Um, yes, which is not great. <laughs> but uh, generally you will nine times out of ten not find out what you're doing until the day before your shoot. So on a general weekday afternoon between 5 and 6 p.m. I call my agency and say hi it's Gemma just checking in um, they say you've got the day off or you've got this job or you've got these castings and then they'll email them through and I'll send an email or message back saying yeah thanks I've got it um, so this is generally the life of model so I've spent my whole adult life being on edge going ah, what's going on tomorrow um, a lot of when I first started modeling a lot of friends found it really hard um, they didn't really understand, they thought I was being flaky, they thought I was being difficult. Still now I have friends that aren't models that still think I'm being flaky and difficult. But then that's why a lot of models become friends with models because they have the same kind of lifestyle. You just never ever know what's going to go on um, day to day. And it, it is quite difficult, um, but as long as you've got quite an understanding for a family, hopefully one day your friends can be understanding as well that you're not being a pain in the ass <laughs> that that is just the life of a model day to day is when you find out generally um sometimes i might call on a friday and find out what what's going on during the week the next week um and i get a quick like overview another note on the always being prepared is always being prepared even if you don't know you have castings sometimes clients will call uh, the agency during that day and say that they want to see a girl so always be prepared um Always have a flesh coloured bra and thong in your bag, um, even if you think that you have the day off. Always have a hairbrush, a phone charger, um, a phone battery, 
pack charger because you do not want to like not have your phone on you always want to answer your phone because you never know what job's going to come in or what casting last minute always carry some cards on you um, you might not have your book on you because sometimes it's not uh, possible to carry your book everywhere because it is quite heavy um, but always take it to castings just if you don't have castings or a job or anything and you don't have it if you have some cards at least you know you can go to a casting and you can see a client say hey um, and they have something to remember you by and then they can check you out on the website of your agency as always if you have any questions or comments or any um, suggestions or anything just pop them in the comments box below um, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe Thanks for watching.